I think Norm's maybe one of the an American treasure. Let's talk about you now. Let, let me ask you something. Yes, Another sir. guy from Canada has come and invaded show business here in yeah. the United States. With an acerbic wit. So many funny guys come out of Canada. What is it about Canada that produces all these comedians? What do you think it is? Um, I don't know, because when I'm in Canada, no one's funny. <laughs> You think it's the long, dark, cold winters? You just had to find yeah, something to laugh yeah, about? Yeah, we don't have dark winters. We well, don't live in the Arctic Circle. <laughs> but they're long, I think. They're long and cold, yeah. and they're cold. And really cold. Yeah, they're cold. <laughs> so when you're a kid up in town... I don't want to put too fine a point on it, but they're cold. <laughs> yeah. You said this is the coldest you've ever been. You're Canadian, so are you no, okay I've with been, this? I've been colder than this. I've been colder than the uh, vampire's... Uh, <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Go on. Go on. That's like We're an waiting. 8 a.m. joke. It's no, yeah, we can do it at 7:19. This the stage is yours. <laughs> Are you drunk? <laughs> <laughs> because all you did was ride a cooler and you're sweating. I am. Well, it's no, it's hot as a uh, it's hotter than a two dollar. Well, he's got like 12 layers on. Yeah, I, think. I thought it was going to be really cold. <laughs> Well, you're from Canada. This should be like it, this should be springtime. For no, you. I know I'm from Canada, but you know I'm still a human being. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you really evolved differently. Right. <laughs> but, I'm, yeah, you know, I'm from the frozen north. Yeah. Yeah, it, it gets colder than a. It gets colder than a. Oh, uh, oh here it oh, comes. Okay. <laughs> Get your finger on the panic button. No, it, it gets colder than a vampire's demeanor. <laughs> okay, that's better. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Surprisingly cerebral. I now, I, uh, I one once time one time I kissed Relic. <laughs> the beach combers? Yeah. Were you on a ferry or? No, that uh, Indian guy from the show gave me some bad uh, heroin. <laughs> That's not true. No. <laughs> That's you made that. Uh, up. I, mean, I, did, I didn't make that part up, but uh, <laughs> I, I did have a, a long kiss with Relic. Uh, for a show or just? Uh... Well party yeah no i was supposed to be on the beachcombers right that would have been awesome with jackson davies too yeah yeah and uh it uh, turns out i was never going to be on the beachcombers <laughs> uh and i was just going to be in relic's hotel room <laughs> what were you in vancouver yeah i was in vancouver and i'm like this is gonna be the greatest i'm gonna be i was, I was supposed to be like the new breed of the beachcomber and everything that's what relic was said <laughs> <laughs> so this is a next generation beachcomber yeah, thing? Exactly. Okay. Uh, beachcomber the next generation. Uh, Relic was supposed <laughs> to be the executive producer and he'd make occasional like uh, appearances. This is what he told me in his hotel room. Come and, on. Uh, this no. didn't happen. No, it didn't happen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta read this book, uh, Sean. Uh, hey, I uh, should put that in the you book. You should. Uh, I know there's a, a couple generations maybe between you two as comedians. Looking at yeah. uh, a couple, uh, <laughs> watching Norm over the years and some of the characters. What's it like being uh, alongside one of the best? Oh, it's great. I mean, uh, I love Dirty Work and I love Saturday Night Live. And then I worked with Norm. He was my boss, my first boss in Los Angeles. Yeah, John's awesome, man. Future of comedy. If you show uh, this clip like uh, 10, 20 years from now, you're going to go, who's that old guy <laughs> talking about? Who the hell is Relic? <laughs> oh, I love that I'll story. be like Relic, and he'll be like me, like 20 years. When you look at this in the vault. In Canada, it's different. Like here in the States, you vote for the president. You, maybe you vote for the wrong guy. A war happens. Right. In Canada, it's not like that. You go, like, what's the big thing? It's a, should they build, make that bridge? Or right, you know? that's the biggest. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. So it's, you know, it's we're, too much we're pressure. very inconsequential, Canada. Yeah. The last time I performed here at the Just for Laughs Gala was 25 years ago, and uh, I did so well, they invited me back. So that was nice. <laughs> I love Montreal, my God, you know, and call me an eternal optimist, you know, but I really believe in my heart that this is the year that the Expos are finally going to win it all. <laughs> Montreal, famous for a lot of things, you know, one of them being the greatest strip clubs in all of the world. Yeah. 
Last night, uh, are, you, are, you, are you aware of Club Super Sex? <laughs> yeah, so last night I went to uh, Club Super Sex. Uh, I chose the soup, big mistake. <laughs> Big election coming up, and uh, in Canada, this is the difference in elections in America and Canada, is elections in America mean something. <laughs> you vote for the wrong motherfucker, the world blows up. <laughs> I don't need that on my hands. Whereas Canada, you know, what's the, uh, it's always like, uh, well, what's, the, what's your view on the bridge? I say, keep as it is. I don't think they need to clean that up. That's fine. <laughs> it was easy when I was young uh, to vote because it was simply, uh, you know, you, you just didn't vote for the French guy. <laughs> it couldn't have been an easier choice. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I almost feel like coming back this fall uh, just as an homage to my late father and uh, not vote for Trudeau. <laughs> my dad did not like Trudeau. Trudeau was my hero, though. I loved him, you know? And uh, since I've come back, I've been watching the news and everything, I've been, I've been seeing Justin, you know? And uh, I thought, by God, you know, this Justin kid, he must be brilliant because his father was was Pierre Elliott Trudeau. But then I forgot, he's got a mother. <laughs> so that's kind of, kind of evens everything out. <laughs> you know uh, uh, what's also different in America and Canadian election? In America, you get to vote for the president of the United States, and in Canada, you vote for some motherfucker live down the street. in your riding, <laughs> whatever the hell that is. So then, that guy, he goes to the House of Parliament, you know, and he's like, oh, wow, this is big. <laughs> and, uh, and then the speaker's like, all right, well, what are we going to talk about? Anybody want to bring an issue? And then your guy's like, yeah, I just, uh, uh, our bridge ain't looking too good. <laughs> And the speaker's like, what the fuck are you talking about? I go, no, I'll sit down. I... <laughs> Sorry about that, I just... Thank you and good evening. I'm Norm McDonald and I could not be more excited to be here. You know, when I was asked to host the Canadian Screen Awards, I called my good friend Chris Rock and I said to him, I've got some great news, Chris. I'm going to Canada. And he said, I've got some great news, too. I'm hosting the Oscars. What are you doing in Canada? <laughs> and I said, uh, you know, I'm visiting some family, friends. Up there. <laughs> the usual. We're coming to you live from Toronto, or as you cost-cutting location scouts call it, New York City. <laughs> Never has there been such an assembly of great Canadian talent in a single location that, that did not have to be Zambonied first. <laughs> Tonight, the CSAs are being seen in over 50 countries. Isn't that exciting? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Don't wait, wait. I, I, I misread that. 50 counties. <laughs> and a couple of regional municipalities. We are here <laughs> to celebrate nominees for their wonderful work in Canadian cinema and television, which is a lot like celebrating the Northern Lights. 
You probably haven't seen them, but you've heard they're amazing. <laughs> we, we have a lot to celebrate in our industry. Amongst the TV shows nominated tonight are Amazing Race Canada, <laughs> Big Brother Canada, Master Chef Canada. Where do they come up with these ideas? I... <laughs> but it's been a wonderful year for Canada. It's been a especially great year for one little guy, one adorable little Canadian youngster who's already accomplished so much. Of course, you know who I'm talking about, Justin Trudeau. <laughs> Hasn't he had a wonderful year? It's been a busy weekend getting here. We, uh, we lost an hour, as you know, daylight savings time went into effect last night. Ha, I give it six months. <laughs> um, well, we're gonna start the show, but I, you know, I, I was... <laughs> it hasn't started yet, you didn't know. I saw a wild look of alarm cross your eyes. But I was backstage uh, uh, yesterday, and I was, we were doing rehearsals, and I asked, what is the statuette called? And they said, it's called the Canadian Screen Award. And I said, well, that seems kind of dull. Like, what? That's the name of the award? And they said, well, we've been bandying around different names, and, but none of, you know, they said in Canada, it takes a long time to get stuff done and stuff. <laughs> but one of them that they said, one of them they mentioned was the candy. And I think John Candy I mean, who doesn't love John Candy? <laughs> so, of course, of course, the statuette should be called the Candy. So, what I'm asking you to do is if you are a presenter, ignore the teleprompter and say, <laughs> the Candy goes too. And if you are lucky enough to win one, go, I would like one a candy. <laughs> what do you think of that? Can you go along with that? <laughs> Excellent. That would make us a better nation. Uh, I am not here to upbraid. However, I think I made it quite clear that these awards should be referred to <laughs> as the candies. A nine-year-old child knew. <laughs> Are you so burdened this preposterous technology? So I would like not to see that again. <laughs> you know, backstage I was thinking uh, how different things are since I moved to the United States. You know, now uh, I'm in the United States. One thing I've noticed about films, I don't like foreign films anymore. You know? <laughs> they're all like uh, artsy, uh, kind of uh, not my cup of tea. But when I grew up in Ottawa, by God, I loved foreign films, you know, Star Wars, <laughs> uh, Smokey and the Bandit, do you remember that one? <laughs> Here to present our next award, The Candy. <laughs> and this will be the end of my upbraiding, I hope. George St. Kitts and the Candy Band. <laughs> Who can take a sunrise? Come on, guys. Sprinkle it, but they can't do well, whatever. <laughs> well, our, uh, our uh, next uh, uh, presenters are, are uh, political people. And uh, it made me think, because I was just told Cape Breton Island, I don't know if you know this, but they are offering sanctuary to to anyone that uh, uh, lives in, uh, in America after uh, 
Trump is elected president by a landslide. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, I uh, agree with this in principle, but why Cape Breton Island? I mean, can't I, can't I just flee to Toronto? Do I have to leave the fucking planet? <laughs> I mean, can't I just go to Baffin Island while I'm at it? <laughs> All right, now, welcome to the stage two Canadian. Oh, the candies are going great so far, aren't they? Um, I would like to say uh, to, uh, to Eugene Levy that there's no reason to be uh, ashamed of your son. My son only this morning punched me in the chest really hard. <laughs> Listen, I have some good news. I just found out that all of you here tonight will be getting a swag bag. Yeah. Just like the Oscars. I haven't seen one yet, but why don't we take a look and see what you're getting. I'm gonna call Megan, our golden girl, out. Megan, our golden girl? Hi, Megan. Come on out here. Ah, you brought the, the swag bag. Yes, can you hold it open? And then I will, I'll take things out of the swag bag. What do we have here? A loose pancake. It's a bug that go down We're here to stay and run this town Bring in the heat, bring in the energy We're the queens of the festival, can't you see? We're the queens of the festival Here to rule the stage Dropping beats and make your body engage From sunrise to sunset, we're taking it all We're the festival queens standing tall Ooh, yeah, yeah to dust, we command the crowd's gaze. Every beat, every rhyme sets a soul to place. With swagger and style, we own this domain. In the realm of music, we reign supreme, no chain. Feel the rhythm pulsating through your veins. Our verses hidden, night fire never wane. With each lyric, we spit, each move we make. We carve our legacy, leaving jaws to quake. We're the queens of the festival, here to rule the stage. Dropping beats and make your body engage. From sunrise to sunset, we're taking it all. No crown needed, our awe's the crown jewel in the kingdom of sound We never played the fool with beats as our scepters and rhymes as our decree We're the sovereigns of rhythm for all to see So bow down to the queens as we own the night In the kingdom of music we're the guiding light From the first note to the last we'll always be The festival queens forever wild and free What else we got here, Megan? We got, oh, oh, this is, this looks cool. It's a, a CD, you know what they are, <laughs> of Nelly Furtado singing all the national anthems. <laughs> Torn from today's headlines. See what else we have. Uh, oh, we have this. Ah, yes, this. This is a bottle of Eau de John Cherry Cologne. It's for the gentlemen in the audience. Now, what else do we have? Hopefully something a little funnier than that last one. Here. We have a 30-minute massage from producer Robert Lantos. Don't try to go for 50, you, you only can hit 30. <laughs> now what else do we have here? Oh, a curling uh, stone. <laughs> you know what these are made of? I always took them for granted. <laughs> Last time I take a joke from Martin Short. All right. <laughs> Megan? Just do some house cleaning here. Having a hand for Megan, our Golden Globe. A natural mistake. All right, all right. Listen, guys. <laughs> for some reason, I've been told to stretch. <laughs> so, ah, 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 ah. Oh, I've never tried that before. <sighs> The show's over, folks. Good night. <laughs> but for the first candies, respect, peace.